Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about Bezel's formula. First of all, I will make you familiar with the Bezel's formula, and later we will solve an example which will be based upon the Bezel's formula. So without any further delay, let's get started. So students, let's begin the solution of this problem. Here we are asked to find the cube of 6.36 by using Bezel's formula and we are provided with different value of x starting from 6.1 to 6.5. Similarly, we are provided with the value of y also and we, we can, you can see that 6.36 lies between 6.3 and 6.4. So now what we will do, first let's get familiar with the Bezel's formula and then we will solve this problem. So our Bezel's formula is yx equals to 1 by 2 times y0 plus y1 plus p times p minus 1 by 2 times delta y0 plus p times p minus 1 by 2 factorial times delta i square y minus 1 plus delta i square y0 uh, plus uh, p plus 1 p times p minus 1 times p minus 2 by 4 factorial times 1 by 2 times uh, delta 4 to the power four, delta 4 y minus 1 plus delta 4 y minus 2 and later uh, in this video I will show you how to calculate the value of uh, delta square y minus 1 delta y naught delta uh, y naught yeah and uh, what is p so we have again p equals to p equals to x naught x minus x naught upon h okay so x is uh, what we are uh, given to calculate the value that is 6.36 and x note x note since 6.36 lies between 6.3 and 6.4 so this is our x note and this is x and uh, h is the difference see here six uh, difference in x means interval in x so here six, if we add 0 0.1 in 6.1 it will get 6.2 similarly if we add 0 0.1 in 6.2 it will get 6.3 or we can we can also find h by simply subtracting from 6.2 minus 6.1 or 6.3 minus 6.2 the difference is same that is what h is now what bezel's formula says is our p must lies between 1 by 4 and uh, 3 by 4 that is see here we can use bezel's formula only if our p p must lies between p must lies between 1 by 4 to 3 by 4 okay 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 and 3 by 4 means 0 0.75 means our p must lies between 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 value so here if we solve this problem now we have x x means 6.36 minus x note x note is 6.3 and divide this by 0 0.1 we will get 0. 6 on solving this we will get 0 0.6 so we have p equals to 0 0.6 therefore p equals to 0 0.6 now uh, we need to draw a table in which we will find the value of delta y minus 1 delta y naught okay delta y minus 1 uh, delta 4 y minus 1 like that so see how to find those values so you can see there here that p uh, our 0 0.6 lies between 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 it means we are able to use the Bezel's formula here. Now what we can do here, uh, we have taken that 0 0.63 as uh, x note. So this is going to be our 0, this is minus 1 and this is minus 2. Why so? Because our 6.36 was lying between 6.3 and 6.4. So this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2. Now what we will do, we will find delta y. So delta y can be calculated by simply subtracting from these two value means subtract 226.981 from 238.328. So we have this column delta y and on doing so we will get here 11.347. Sim similarly subtract this value 238.328 from 250.047 so on doing so we will get 11.719 similarly subtract this value from this value so we will get here 
7 and when you are solving the this problem in ruled lined paper then try to leave a uh, space one column between these two line so that we can write the value of delta y between these two value okay so what this is that is what i am doing now subtract this value from this value so we will get here 12.481 now what we need to do is we have to calculate the value of delta square y so draw a line here table column that is delta square y and for calculating the delta square y we will again proceed with a similar uh, process what we have done in previously for delta y we need to subtract uh, this value from this value so on subtracting we will get 0 0.372 similarly subtract this value from this value so we will get 0. 378 similarly on subtracting these two value we will get 0 0.384 now uh, we need to proceed uh, calculating the delta square y until we get only one value in uh, in a single column so again we have here three value so again we will move for delta q y for delta q y subtract this value from this value so we will get here 0. 0 0 6 similarly on subtracting this value from this value we will get 0 0.006 and again delta 4 y for delta 4 y subtract this value from this value we will get here 0 now we should this these values which we have calculated recently in this formula to calculate the value to find the value of 6.36 to the power 3 so how we will do this here So further we have the formula now here and we have also calculated the value of unknowns that is uh, delta y naught delta square y minus 1 we have already calculated the value so what I am going to do is I hope you have uh, copied these values so and copies the formula also here so by using by Bezel's formula by Bezel's formula we will have here y x equals to we have by Bezos formula we have y x equals to y uh, y x equals to uh, 1 by 2 y naught plus y 1 plus p minus 1 by 2 times delta y naught delta y naught plus p times p minus 1 by 2 factorial times delta square y minus 1 plus delta square y naught plus p minus 1 by 2 p minus 1 by 2 times p times p minus 1 in this formula we have one more to term missing here sorry for my mistake here we will have uh, p minus 1 by 2 times p times p minus 1 upon 3 factorial multiply by delta q delta q times y minus 1 so here on rewriting the formula here we will have here p p minus 1 upon 3 factorial times delta q y minus 1 and fourth term is 0 fourth term is 0 so we do not need to proceed further we we need to stop up to here now put the values and find the final answer so we will have here on putting the value we will have here y 3.6.36 will be equals to uh, 1 by 2 times 250.047 plus 262.141 plus 0 0.6 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स टूवेल्व पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सेवन एंड फर्दर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस वन टाइम्स वन अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स वन बाय टू टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एट फोर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस वन अपॉन सिक्स टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सिक्स ओके सो ऑन सॉल्व दिस वी विल गेट वैल्यू इक्वल्स टू टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट टू फाइव नाइन फाइव एंड दिस इज आवर फाइनल आंसर वी डू नॉट नीड टू डू द क्यूब बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज मैंसन दैट वाई इज आवर एक्स क्यूब वाई इज ऑलरेडी क्यूब्ड सो वाई इज ऑलरेडी क्यूब सो वाई हेयर वी आर पुटिंग एक्स मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स एंड इट इज ऑलरेडी क्यूब सो वॉट वी गट इज ऑलरेडी द क्यूब ऑफ द क्यूब क्यूब ऑफ जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो दिस इज आवर फाइनल आंसर एंड आई होप यू आर इन्जॉय दिस वीडियो एंड देर वेर आई मिस दिस टर्म इन द formula so sorry for my mistake once again and if you guys are enjoying the content in civil learning online channel then do subscribe the channel and do share this video with your friend see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself